The first edition of The Wild Garden didn't actually do all that well. And it wasn't until a later edition when Alfred Parsons illustrated the book that suddenly it really took off. I mean, first of all, they were very beautiful wood engravings that they used. And secondly, by having little pictures in, in each page, I think that it showed the reader that you don't need to have a grand estate. You can actually do this in a little corner in any garden, and it, it sort of linked that. It was very nice. Robinson was always very conscious about the way the garden was captured and recorded by artists. Of course, uh, the photography at that time wasn't quite what it is now, and the painter could do so much more justice. And there, he always had an artist in residence. There was a whole heap of artists that came here to paint and that he was in close contact with. So Sargent, Alfred Parsons, Beatrix Parsons. And I think it must have been a really vibrant place to come.